Okay. We also present articles for the computer user. Now, I don't know if you can see this there, but there's a, a woman screaming <laughs> at her computer. Now, I do you, know, you remember the, the computer paper? It was wildly popular a couple of years ago in Vancouver. And I read an article there, and it claimed that 7 out of 10 people, 7 out of 10, 70%, swore at their computer monitor. Now, that is a problem. <laughs> Matter of fact, when I was fixing computers and I was an IBM server technician, uh, it would be like more like 9 out of 10 people would swear at their server <laughs> because when a server goes down, you have a lot of anxiety. You have a lot of angst. You have a lot of stress. You can't do your work. One computer goes down in an office, it affects one person. One server goes down in an office, it can affect up to 20 users. And believe me, some days I have gone into, we, we had contracts with the banks. And I have gone into what they call a server farm, where you have dozens and dozens and dozens of server servers in this uh, air-conditioned room. And the way they hooked these servers up was in series. And when one server went down, it collapsed a whole bunch of other servers. And, and we just stood there dumbfounded with our mouths open thinking, Oh, this is going to be a horrendous day. Now this, okay, so we're going back 10 years ago, right? It's much more sophisticated now, much more. Back 10 years ago when I was uh, doing uh, IBM servers, they had what they call the MAU, the IBM multi-access user, where it was, a, actually it was a token ring, the old token, remember that? And um, it was a network token ring and you'd have six or seven computers plugged in and if that bank, that MAU bank, if one of the connectors went off, the entire network of the bank of connectors would go off. So it would affect seven people. Now they would never think of allowing that to happen. Now, if you have a network router or, or a hub, with multiple points, if one fails, it doesn't take the rest of the hub or the router down. So, back when I was doing IBM server work, it would, there was a lot of stress, and it was so funny because when when a server went down in a bank, I would phone them ten minutes out, and I'd say, "Okay, I'm on my way," and they'd say, "Rick, there's a parking spot right here, <laughs> right where the the uh, the manager of the bank is, or something." If he have, happened to be away that day, park right there, Rick. And when I got there, they would have cakes waiting for me, and cook and coffee. Oh, they just treated me like a king. I was their best friend. You know why? I was there to fix their server. <laughs> now, little story. Back when I was doing IBM servers, repairing them, um, to do a server rebuild, a complete server rebuild, sometimes you could just replace a drive, but to do a complete server rebuild took 12 hours. And you had to do a little bit of coding, not a lot, but it was a 12-hour process and you'd have to take a book because really only four hours of it were actual physical work. The other eight hours you were just watching the monitor screen. Now, computers and servers are so sophisticated that they rebuild themselves. Um, now they just courier a couple of drives to the, uh, to the bank. Anybody with a pulse can just walk up to the server Take out the dead hard drives, put in the, the new hard drives, and it will rebuild itself in minutes, compared to, when I was doing it, 12 hours. So even though the technology has gotten better and gotten more sophisticated, there's other technologies that the user has to deal with on a psychological, emotional, physical, and mental level that still drives them absolutely crazy. And this is why... Eflexonics was formed because as a technician, as a network, or as a computer technologist, I saw what stress was doing to those computer operators. They needed something. Nobody's got their back. Sure, you can go on the internet and you can find a couple of uh, very well done ergonomic videos. or and, and that's from one company, say three or four videos. And then you can go to another place and they sell like a stretch break program. One company will we'll specialize in that. But at eFlexonics, the concept is to blend them together to make it a one-stop shopping deal for the customer. So if you want an ergonomic chair or ergonomic, ergonomic mouse or a, uh, a monitor arm or if you want a split keyboard or anything like that, ergonomic, we want to be able to bring you the best in quality and value 
and be able to put it on our blog, broker it, and also um, do, do video snippets on it and do research on it as well. So there you have it, articles for the computer user. So again, use that search field over there on our blog to search 